Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellisted. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. In this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to set up Stutter Edit inside a machine. Stutter Edit by Isotope is a wonderful MIDI control glitch effect that many of you are probably familiar with, um, but it can be kind of tricky to set up in a machine. It's not difficult, but it's not very intuitive. So I wanted to show you how to do that and just show you a couple little tips about that. To get started, I just put together a basic, simple beat. So you get the idea. That's out of the bounce kit. And to get started, I'll do this in the hardware and the software to make sure you know how to do it both ways. I'm going to go ahead and select the group and on the first sound slot, so I need to be in sound on the hardware, I'm going to hit shift browse to my plugins. And by default, you're going to come up on instrument and internal. And we're going to set this first of all to effect. And then we're going to scroll down to isotope who manufactures this. And I'm already there, but we can scroll through and load stutter edit. So it's in the first sound slot of this group, not the group slot. Pretty straightforward. Let me undo that. I'm going to, to do that. I'm going to just duplicate an empty slot. And now let's do it from the software. So in the software, um, I come to my group and sound level, click plug in and right here, scroll down to the vendor. I have both a VST and an AU version. It doesn't really matter which one I use. So I'm going to go ahead and use the AU. So now if I go into keyboard mode, I can see that I am changing different stutter edit patches and that's pretty useful. If I play it, nothing's going to happen though. And that's because the audio isn't routed to it. And this is what's tricky to a lot of people. If I get out of browse right here, it says input. And if we look at that on the software, it says input here, that's a side chain input. And that's not actually how we want to route this. Instead, we're going to go to our other group. And for this tutorial, I'm going to send the whole kit through there but you can send individual parts or elements or what have you. And I'm going to go to the group channel and rather than sending it to master, I'm going to send it to stutter edit right there. So now when I hit play and then I trigger pads, I'll be able to hear stutter edit working. Et cetera, et cetera. So it's really quite simple. It's just that trick of routing kind of messes people up. One of the thing that we need to be aware of is that one of the things that we really use a lot of inside of stutter edit is the filter and the buffer. And those are controlled respectively by the uh, pitch bend and a modulation wheel the machine. Even the studio version doesn't have one of those, although we're hopeful that it might make it into the next release. It is quite simple to have both another keyboard hooked up along with your machine. Even the smallest of little MIDI keyboards that has a mod wheel and a pitch bend will work. And so I can actually control that. I'm doing that on my control keyboard and I can control my buffer times with the, with the mod wheel. Just because you don't have one on the machine doesn't mean you can't use it. Uh, another cool thing about this is that on a pitch bend it's normally set to return. Instead, if I go with a mouse, it'll stay where I leave it. So this can actually be used some pr for some pretty cool effects. So I'll use the mouse here to do that. And so that's kind of an effective way, especially when we combine it in conjunction with a mod wheel working, I'm sorry, a pitch bend wheel working. And to record this stuff, so we're not actually messing with the pat the patterns of our of our actual source. Instead, we're just recording MIDI controls for this. So I'll demonstrate here. Let me pick a different different scene here, and it's going to record control changes effectively for Stutter Edit. So that's not very elegant, but it gives you a good sense of how it works. 
and it will see that when I controlled the, here's my velocity, but I also have my pitch wheel right here, and we can see changes that I've done. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could also come through and write pitch wheel modulation just like that. Let's hear what that sounds like. So it's, it's a pretty effective way to work, especially in conjunction with a keyboard. I encourage you to experiment, have some fun with it. And remember that you can always come through if you don't like what, you, what you've done. The easiest way as often is to click in the area, hit Control A and delete, and there it's gone. We can also on the hardware hit clear for things like our notes, etc. So there you have it. That's uh, Stutter Edit inside a machine. Quite simple. I hope you found this useful. And if you have questions, please do comment on the video page. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. I'm Stephen Ellistead. Have a great day.